Welcome, and we're glad that you can join us. My name is Howard Goldberg, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of SESME. Today, I'm excited to talk to you about our national network of smart manufacturing innovation centers and how they can bring value to your organization. First, I'd like to take a quick step back and talk about the overarching ecosystem at SESME that's part of our roadmap pillar. Our ecosystem needs to be multidimensional because we need to address all of U.S. manufacturing. So we have to cut across all industry verticals, all company sizes, all geographic locations, and meet members wherever they're at in their SM journey. A key part of this ecosystem are the Smart Manufacturing Innovation Centers. These centers are engaging industry and academia to build smart manufacturing domain expertise, and they act as lighthouse extensions of SESME to deliver SESME technology and our future-proof training and curriculum. They're aligned to industry verticals or horizontal technologies. So the Smart Manufacturing Innovation Centers, or SMICs for short, were our partners that SESME has partnered with that were already well established in smart manufacturing with a deep focus on real world solutions and already had deep relationships with industry. They also had great smart manufacturing assets that we can connect to our smart manufacturing innovation platform. So if you're a member, you're asking how can I engage with this or what solutions can they provide? If you're a manufacturer on a technology front, they provide a great sandbox to help address your smart manufacturing challenges and innovation ideas. They can engage you no matter where you're at in your journey. If you're a vendor, you can showcase your vendor technologies there, whether it's hardware, software, sensors, or machines. On the knowledge front, if you're a manufacturer, they have great education workforce development programs for training your existing workforce to upskill them more into smart manufacturing. They also have great college education programs to supply your future workforce needs. If you're an EWD vendor, they create a great infrastructure for demonstrating your smart manufacturing content within the SMICs. Our current SMIC footprint is shown here on this map. So in our headquarters in LA, we have UCLA as a SMIC, and it's aligned to artificial intelligence and machine learning. And we have three satellites shown by the green dots around UCLA. The closest satellite is El Camino Community College. It's an EWD training center aligned to aerospace and machining industries. In Silicon Valley, we have a company called Autology that has machine vision-based technologies, and they're our SM platform demonstration partner. And in the Pacific Northwest, we have Oregon State University that has expertise in food and beverage industry, aerospace, and connection to small to mid-sized manufacturers. On the East Coast and Rensselaer Polytechnical Institute, <clears throat> they are aligned to CNC machining and discrete manufacturing. And in the Southeast, we have North Carolina State University, which has three great manufacturing assets in pulp and paper industry, non-woven material industry, and the biomanufacturing industry. But we're also excited to announce that we're doubling our footprint size with the addition of four new SMICs that should be online by February 2022. So the new SMICs are Purdue University, Fiennes Ilustra, a company, Case Western Reserve University, and Penn State University. So with these new footprints, they bring increased focus on small to mid-sized manufacturing, and they bring great presence in the traditional manufacturing belt of the United States. They also bring new vertical expertise in food and beverage, automotive industry, as well as artificial intelligence technology. An extension of the SMICs are what we call NEPs, or Manufacturing Extension Partnerships. As shown by the map in the lower left corner, each state has an MEP that's funded by NIST. NEPs are great conduits for small to mid-sized manufacturer as they connect to them at a very regional level. SESME is proud to have 12 MEPs currently, as shown by the yellow stars, as part of our membership. SESME is working hard to bring MEPs and SMICs together to engage local small to mid-sized manufacturers. They do this by establishing partnerships to assess the local needs and develop regional strategies. We help equip MEPs with access to SESME's SM technologies and expertise. A good way to think of it is the Smart Manufacturing Innovation Centers are great hands-on environments where the MEPs can bring their SMM clients to demonstrate, equip, and educate them on smart manufacturing. It's a win-win-win for all three parties. Another great extension of our ecosystem are what we call system integrators. System integrators are vendors that have OT and IT experience 
that bridge the gap between automation systems on the factory floor and the IT systems that sit in the back office. System integrators were responsible for the great integration of the, of the SMIC assets. We had several SMICs with great manufacturing assets that had to be integrated to the SESME platform, and our system integrator community helped do that successfully. We have several system integrators that are members in SESME, and in fact, one of the system integrators, Flexware, sits on our board of directors to ensure that our strategy aligns to the SI community. Going forward, we're looking to engage more system integrators to grow our community of system integrators, train them on SESME technology, because system integrators will be essential to commercialize in our SM profile and our application marketplace in the future. We like to think of SESME membership as a full contact sport. Members should fully consume the SESME services as I described to the SMICs, but we also like to have members contribute back to SESME to contribute to its mission. A lot of the work of the Institute is done by its members. A great way to do this is by engaging with our affinity groups. So a SESME affinity group is a group of SESME members that are sanctioned and that are aligned to a particular industry segment or technology. They've collaboratively identified a problem in that area and are prioritizing to, to address the challenges and opportunities. So they, they do that by collaborating together, collaborating with SESME staff and the SMICs, and using SESME technology to address the smart manufacturing challenge in the sector they defined. They also provide a valuable conduit back to SESME of industry-centric strategic input to SESME strategy, roadmap, and its investments in RFPs. The affinity groups are member-driven, they're member-run. We have currently three affinity groups, food and beverage and consumer packaged goods, aerospace, and small to mid-sized manufacturer, all led by industry membership of SESME. They meet every other month, and they have a very defined purpose statement and success metrics. Members are free to join as many or all affinity groups that they want, and we also encourage members to propose new affinity groups. We love to have get beyond these three industry affinity groups and have more industry affinity groups aligned to all the sectors that SESME addresses. So how can you engage with your SM Innovation Center? So if you're a manufacturer, please bring your innovation challenge through the Smart Manufacturing or Innovation Center or SMIC. If you're an automation vendor or machine builder, please provide your sensors, hardware assets to the SMIC, and we can provide a great demonstration sandbox. If you're a software vendor, help implement your solutions at the SMIC on top of the Smart Manufacturing Innovation Platform present at each SMIC. If you're a system integrator, please engage with the SMIC to train, help us train or be trained and become a resident domain expert. So the contact points are shown at the bottom of the slide here. So if, if you're interested in affinity groups, please contact Mike Mazaros. If you're interested in engaging with a smart manufacturing integration center, please contact Dale Turner. And any membership inquiries, please contact Steve Winsky. So I'd now like to introduce our seven SMIC leaders that will highlight the value propositions for their particular SMIC and how they can bring value to you. So the first speaker will be from North Carolina State University, Professors Wan Shen Li and Paul Cohen. That will be followed by Rensselaer Polytechnical Institute with our SMIC director, Craig Dory. The UCLA Unit Satellites will be addressed by Jim Davis, uh, Professor Panagiotis Christophides, and Dale Turner. And Penn State Digital Foundry will be presented by Executive Director Sherry McClary. At Purdue University, we have Raghu and the Harayathan, to, to present their offerings. And at Case Western Reserve University, we have Professor Nick Barrent. At Fine Zylustra, we have Group President Ryan Cahallan and Director of Marketing E.B. Sunheim. When these talks are done, we'll have an open Q&A session. So I look forward to talking to you then.